Hello Sparklets, welcome back for another week. Shall we start off by singing a counting song this week? Let's sing Five Little Speckle Frogs. Show me your hands, see you're ready. Five little speckle frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckle frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Ribbit, ribbit. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no green speckled frogs. Should we do another counting song on our fingers? Let's sing one, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive. One, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on my right. Well done everybody, great counting. Now if you remember really well, we've been finding out each week that God saves. And we've heard how God saved his people from a flood, from a bad king, how he saved uh, them from having no food. God saves all sorts of people from all kinds of things, doesn't he? And today's story is another true story from the Bible about how God saved a man called Jonah. I've got my friend here who's going to be Jonah for us. Jonah was one of God's special people and he was a prophet. That meant God gave him messages to give to the people. We've got a message in this envelope. It's a little bit like a postman delivering messages, except he spoke them. One day, God gave Jonah a message for the people who lived in Nineveh. He said, tell them to stop being my enemies and be my friends instead. But Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh, did he? He did not want to go there. The people who lived there were horrible. They hurt people and they were always doing bad things. I know, scary. And Jonah didn't want to go anywhere near them. Nope, did not want to go. You know why he didn't want to go? He knew how good and kind God is and how God loves to save people. And he didn't want the people of Nineveh to be saved. So Jonah didn't go to Nineveh, he didn't go that way, he decided to run away from God. He went the other way and he went down to a harbour and down into the bottom of a boat headed for Tarshish, which was totally the opposite direction from where what God wanted him to go. He wanted to get as far away from Nineveh and as far away from God's saving plan as he could. Here's Jonah in his boat. He went down into the bottom of the boat and he went to sleep. Oh, he was happy with himself from having his brilliant plan to run away from God. But God was not pleased. God sent a great big enormous storm. Can you join in at home making some winds and wave noises? Woo! Woo! All the sailors on the ship, they were very frightened. They thought they were going to die. They knew the storm was different to any others they'd been in before and they asked Jonah why the storm had come. Jonah knew that the storm was all his fault. He told them that the God who made the land and the sea had sent this storm because I've run away from him. And he told the sailors, 
throw me into the sea and the storm will stop. Really? they said. Are you sure? You want us to throw you into the sea? Yes, said Jonah. And so that's what they did. They threw Jonah down into the sea. Splash! Straight away the storm stopped. The sailors couldn't believe it. God had saved people from the storm. But what about Jonah? He was sinking deep down, down into the sea. But then God saved Jonah too. How good and kind God is. Even Jonah who runs from him, who doesn't want to do what God says. And do you know how God saved him? This bit's very funny. God sent a great big, enormous, friendly fish to save Jonah. The fish swallowed Jonah whole. You see, God, who made the land and the sea, he sent a fish to rescue Jonah. And inside the fish, deep down in the dark sea, Jonah realised he couldn't run away from God. He realised how kind God had been to him by sending the fish to save him. And that he's been living like an enemy of God. And he needed God to be kind and save him. And he did what we all should do. He prayed. Dear Father God, I'm sorry for not going your way. Thank you for being kind to me. Please rescue me so I can go and tell others about you. Amen. And the fish spat Jonah out onto dry land. Blah! Now Jonah got up and he set off towards Nineveh. Jonah got up and he set off towards Nineveh. He set off with God's message and he told the people in Nineveh, God wants you to say sorry and to stop doing bad things. He wants to be your friend. And the people in Nineveh, they listened to God's message. So God saved the people in Nineveh from being his enemies and he made them his friends instead. Did you hear how many times in this story that God saved someone? God saved the sailors from the storm. He saved Jonah from the sea using a big fish and he saved the people of Nineveh too. God saves. He saves people who are his enemies when they ask for forgiveness. Jonah had to do that. And God had to let him go a long, long way down into the mess, as good as dead in the sea, before Jonah turned to God and asked for rescue. When we turn away from God and go our own way, we end up in a mess, don't we? We think we don't need God and we can do our own thing. We end up in a mess just like Jonah did. But wherever we are, whether it's in a fish's stomach, in a skip, in our bedroom, we can cry out to the God who saves us. And he will, he will save us. How good is that? Once Jonah had been shown how much he needed God's rescue, he went to tell others about it. Let's sing the song we've been learning now. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. That's true. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. That's true. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. That's true. Brilliant listening, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.